Do you want to learn how you can save on your heating bill with the help of a smart thermostat? Well, then you've come to the right place. What up guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is Eddie Bear and with today's video I am launching a little kind of mini series where I will cover different kind of smart home accessories which will make your life easier and in the end even will help you to reduce your overall costs of your apartment. In today's episode I first will cover the Elgato Eve thermostat. I will not only show you what the Eve Thermo actually can do and what comes in the box with it, I will also show you how you can remove your old manual TRV and replace it with the Eve Thermo in the process. By the way, if you don't know what TRV stands for, it's the short name for the thermostat that sits on top of your radiator. So with that said, as always, let's begin with a look into the box. Okay, so as we know the products from EVE, you always get a really nice packaging. So what do we have here? We have the EVE Thermo itself. From a build quality standpoint and a design standpoint, rather slick design, so looks good, feels good, doesn't feel cheap at all. So what else do we have in this package? We have a bunch of adapters so based on the heating system that is installed at your home you will need additional adapters in order to mount the thermo at your heater so with these adapters you can adapt the e-thermo to any kind of radiator you have at home and naturally you also get two AA batteries to power up your e-thermo. In order to install the batteries within the e-thermo look for the little Eve logo on the bottom, apply some force on the bottom here and then pull the lid off the e-thermo and then you reveal the battery compartment. Hiding under the lid, you will also find the reset button for the e-thermo and if you installed your batteries, just put the lid back on and push it right back in. Now you know what comes with the e-thermo. The next thing you need to do is to pair the e-thermo with your home kit. Let's begin by firing up the Eve app. Now head over to accessories and hit the plus button. This will enable you to add different accessories that are in pairing mode to your home environment. Let's select the e-thermo. After a few seconds you will be prompted with the camera app so you can scan the HomeKit setup code. This code is located on a sticker that can be found on the back of your e-thermo. After your accessory is added to your home, you need to assign it to a certain room. You either can choose from the ones you already have or you add an extra room. If you decide to create a new room, you can choose from a wide variety of preset rooms or you can also create your own ones. Give the room a name and select the corresponding logo. Now you have to name your accessory. The name you're choosing here will be the one that Siri responds to if you want to adjust any of your settings. With this in mind, choose a unique name. After we finished our initial setup, it's now time to replace our old manual thermostat, TRV, with our new smart thermostat. To remove your old thermostat, you need access to the securing. This ring can sometimes hide under covers, but don't worry, those covers can be removed easily. In order to make the removal of the thermostat easier, turn it all the way up and after that try to loosen the securing. Now it's time to mount your new e-thermostat. You just need to tighten in the security ring by hand as far as you can. Now go back to the EVE app and hit calibrate. You can hear how the thermostat is adjusting itself to your valve. This step is crucial cause your e-thermal needs to learn in which position it is heating and in which position it will actually turn off your radiator. This step needs to be repeated every time you place the thermostat on a different radiator. Another thing I like about the e-thermo is the possibility to choose the orientation of the display on the thermostat itself. So this is something not every vendor is offering at the moment. 
At this point the e-thermo is ready to go and you can finally enjoy your new smart thermostat but within the ETH app there are way more features you can benefit from. So let's take a closer look. One thing I totally love about the ETH accessories is the fact that they always store statistical data within the app and there is no limitation how long they store it for. So from the point you install your accessory they start to record temperature, power consumption and all kinds of other data will be stored with the accessory. So if you open up the accessory, you will at first see the last few hours that your accessory has been running. In the case of the eThermo, you can see whether your heating was active or disabled and you can also see the progression of the temperature within the room. On top of that, you can also access the historical data and choose whether you want to display them within hours, days, weeks or even months. So this will give you a great overview if you have a longer heating period or if you're using, for example, the smart plugs, you will see how the energy consumption over the time developed. With the eThermo, you not only can control your heating manually or from a remote distance, you can also use scheduling. If you want to set up scheduling, you are automatically presented with some presets. You naturally can define your own presets and set the times according to your daily routines. Even if you activate scheduling, you always can override the schedule with a manual control. Either it's through the app or through a manual input on the thermostat itself. Within the EVE app, you will also find a vacation mode. If you activate it, it will automatically create a vacation mode within your home kit. So the moment you leave for your vacation, you activate that you are on a leave. And if you come back, you deactivate it and the heating will resume their normal schedule. A feature especially users with an older heating system will appreciate is the valve protection. So these valves tend to get stuck if they are set to a certain position for a longer period of time. In order to prevent that, the e-thermo will once a day open the valve completely and close it back up within a short period of time. So the moment you activate the feature, the time will be set and every day at this point in time, the valve will open and close so there are no more stuck valves at the end of the heating period or at the beginning of it. The eThermal naturally is also supporting open window detection. It is either detecting it by a huge temperature drop, which will pause the heating for 10 minutes, or it is connected to a EVE window and door sensor. At this point in time, EVE is only supporting their own window and door sensors, so if you have any additional window sensors at home, they will not be able to pause right off the box the heating in that room. So what is my overall impression about the eThermo? I've been using it for the whole winter this year, and I have to say that it's a great solid product. Every time I wanted the heating to be turned on, it was on, and every time I wanted it to be off, it was off. It does what it is supposed to do, and that's pretty much it. There is only one caveat with the whole EVE ecosystem. The legacy devices are relying on a Bluetooth connection, so this means you will always have to have a HomePod, an iPad or an iPhone within the vicinity of the accessories you want to control. Those need to have access to your HomeKit hub. If they don't have access to it, you will not be able to control them remotely or if you're out of reach of the individual accessory. Nevertheless, there is light at the end of the tunnel because Eve just recently released first accessories that will connect to your Wi-Fi, so the days of the Bluetooth connections will be gone. So I am expecting in the next versions of these accessories, they will include Wi-Fi, at least I hope so. Apart from the Bluetooth thing, it's an absolute pleasure to have the e-thermal within my home. I don't need to always open up the radiator before I go to sleep to have a warm bathroom in the morning. So this is really a blast and it will save energy and in the end we will save penguins. Who don't want to save penguins? So what do you think about the eThermo? Is the eThermo a product you would consider for your home yourself? Or are you maybe considering other smart thermostat products? Let me know down in the comments below and also if you have some questions about the configurations I took, also hit me up 
and I will post an article about the e-thermostat on my website eddie-bear.com so head over there if you have any additional questions. So with that said don't forget to like, subscribe, share and well I see you guys in the next one.